Hello, Billy. It's FA Cup weekend for Spennymore today. The tinfoil trophies are out in force. The cup cliches are in my notes. And whilst this tie isn't quite David v. Goliath, Spennymore have, on paper, been handed the toughest tie in the northern section of the draw. Travelling to National League North leaders filed as they look to go one step closer to the first round proper for just the second ever time. Spennymore, who are unchanged from last Saturday's demolition of Farty Celtic. Uh, Dale Eve is in goal, excuse me, the back five, right to left, John LaFoudi, Joe Tate, James Curtis, the captain, Carl Magne and Scott McLean, three in the midfield, they are Brad Abbott, the player of the month for August, uh, Jamie Chandler and Ajahn Amoke, with Rob Ramshaw tucked up alongside Glenn Taylor. The bench will allowed to name seven subs in the cup, Spending will name six, uh, Stephen Thompson, Mark Anderson, Harry Fast is a goalkeeper, Ryan Hall, Jason Kennedy, and from the U team, Charlie Heinsen. Not oh, too many options. He'll go short to the far side to Joyce. Looks forward on the halfway line. Has to turn back, give it square to Perkins. He's got a lot of space to do with Perkins. He can run forward the ball. And play the night reverse ball into Tollett. It will shoot and Lafudu on the cover with a really, really good recovery defending there. To block Tollett's shot, put it behind for the first corner of the game, but fired really on top in this game so far. And looking at the more threatening of the two sides and Horton will take it right footed from the far side all the far players run towards the near post and one runs towards the back and that man is three and it's headed towards goal it's off the line by McLean up in the air Taylor gets something on it Moke helps it on and then helps it on again towards Chandler who leaves it for Ramshaw and Ramshaw leaves it for Chandler and so filed have it back it's on that far side with Horton who wins the header in towards the path of Ramshaw Ramshaw just a bit too far, far forward of the header but it's intercepted by Scott McLean and that just ricochets in the path of, North, of uh, Horton and he plays in Tollett who's through here and can he get a shot away he's in fourth one by Dale Eve who's come out now at the angle Tollett still got it turning one with any other little backfield find Conlon Dale Eve strambles back towards the goal line in the middle headed down towards Tollett Chandler can clear away as far as Perkins who heads it down He will try a long ball forward, which is over Ramshaw. Will the food get there first? Yes, he will. He'll cut away from one and he'll cut away from two and find it into Abbott. Forward to Taylor. Let's the ball run across his body. Onto his right foot. 30 off in goal. Tries a shot and it's just wide over the goalkeeper's right hand post, who was scrambling to his, away to his right hand side. The chance of the game so far. And now, because they will be in again here, Chanham and Perkins in a foot race. Perkins manages to win it just about. It's cleared away towards Sampson. Heavy touch from him, but he does really well. But Abbott does even better to read where that was going to go and passes it into Lafudu. Lafudu might try and have a run of his man here. Around the outside of him. Here he goes around Conlon. Still going to Lafudu. Goes to ground and it's fouled. And Conlon, was, in my opinion, looking to escape a booking earlier on. He's not going to escape one this time. And rightfully so. Lafudu stayed down here as well. It didn't look like it was going to be. He's actually going to need physio treatment of John Lafudu that challenge with Conlon who is booked Spennymore ending this first half strongly so we're talking about a point as he watched it, so it's nearly half time but no the food did not be able to continue here and Ryan Hall is going to come on that's a shame because the food has had two or three decent runs forward he's gone to good positions and beaten his man he's also been Every game needed a goal, should I say? Um, but, but look, uh, a nil-nil wouldn't be a bad result for spinning away. It's filed. The pressure's on file. They're the home side. They've got the uh, the home fans behind them. It's, they're the ones under pressure to, to go out and make something happen. We, I think, will be happy to play on the counter. But they can file on this near side with Holland, with Holland Wilkinson back to Pike. Ball in. It's a decent one. It's missed by everybody. It's returned by Tolly, who for some reason went with his head, and he managed to be caught, caught by Dale Eve. Instead of the first half, it's like they're waiting for the perfect pass at every available opportunity. And it seems a little bit scared almost to just take a risk with the ball over the top or something like that. <laughs> Clear the way they've been set up to play, but it's a bit of a surprise to me, I'd say. And now they've lost possession. And can spend more break. It's with Ramshaw, who just turns away from Connell ever so well. And Ryan holds forward with him, but Ramshaw continues. So he's in towards the middle. The flex up in the air, back to Ramshaw, lays it onto Abbott, takes a touch, out of his feet, shot comes in. And it's in the corner. Spennymore leads. Brad Abbott finds the bottom left corner. 
And the fans went to our right, making a lot of noise. Good football down that far side. Ramsdale did ever so well to just turn away from Conlon, run towards the goal. He leaped back in his direct. He lays it on to Abbott, takes it in his path, gets it out of his feet. And it's the accuracy more than the power, but it's past the goalkeeper. It's into the bottom left corner. Spending more lead. Finally going to have to come out a bit more now. They're going to have to take a few more chances. Up to what we've just mentioned, they haven't really done much of that so far. They've not been brave enough. They're going to have to be now because they're 1-0 down. Far nil, spending more one with 50 minutes on the clock in the FA Cup. We get to see knows he can just turn and give it into James Curtis. Flipped it on towards Tate. Tate will go back to Eve. It's going to be a heavy touch from Daly, but it'll be all right. It's a long... High ball forward. Ramshaw flicks on towards Ryan Hall. It could be in here, Spenny Moore. Ryan Hall inside the penalty area on the far side. Pulls it back towards Taylor. Can't quite get there first. He rebounds towards Abbott. Lays it onto McLean. Onto his right foot. Digs a shot out. Headed away. Far McLean again. And his second effort goes straight behind. Not too much on it, really. Spenny Moore, of course, only reached the FA Cup first round proper once. Filed have done it six times. Twice to round two and once to round three. And they come again. It's with Joyce. He cuts inside of Abbott. Just stops for a second. And puts his arms out. As I say, I've not got an option. He works the ball well, with four or five passes across to the far side. Sam Osborne's going to come off a foul in a second. That's good football. And Collins in behind Fennimore here. He's laid back to Horton. He can take a touch. Get a shot in. And it's in. Foul equalise. <coughs> and it's Nick Horton. Who just peeled off Spennymore's defenders. Just left of the penalty spot, really. He had time to take a touch and the pullback from Conlon and pick his spot, really. It's 30 seconds of the 90 minutes left to play. With very few stoppages in the second half. There was a lot in the first half and only two minutes were added on. So the Monarchs almost had a time to cut. And the game was actually starting to peter out a little bit. Although here's Stephen Thompson with a good touch. Lays it on to Taylor. Taylor could be in here. He's going to try an early shot. Oh, what a save for the goalkeeper. who just pushes it up in the air. He gets something on it. And it, oh dear me, that was close. Long ball forward. We do carry on. It's towards Taylor, who wins the header. Towards Stephen Thompson, cleared away. And that's that. We will go again on Tuesday night. 90 minutes was not enough to separate two very good sides, in truth. They managed to both count each other out at times. They managed to both showcase their abilities at times as well. But there wasn't much in the game. And if it had been a league game, a draw would have been a very, very fair result indeed. It finishes 1-1. Spenny had the lead with the Brad Abbott shots just after the second half started. With a low shot into the keeper's bottom right corner. But Nick Horton managed to level within 10 minutes or so.